All right, Shalom, Shalom. I like to start off by giving all praise, glory, honor, and respect due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstones, the true leaders of the nation of Israel set up on the earth to teach today, and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the globe, uplifting his name with truth, sincerity, and with charity. Um, I got a quick little lesson to go into, man, about the, um, basically the letter, man, which is the law, man. And Lord willing, I can prove it through these um couple precepts I got. Um, really, it's gonna be a breakdown of Second Corinthians chapter three verse six. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. This Second Corinthians chapter three verse six. Who has also who has who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. Okay? And it's really plain, man. We just going to go through and break it down. It said, who also made us able ministers of the New Testament. So, you know, um, basically the testament went to a covenant of promise, man. And what's that promise, man? The uh, uh, promise of Yahweh Shai, man. That he came and now um, now we're not really under the law, but we're under grace, man. That he came, died for us, now we can repent. And make it into the kingdom of heaven, man. It says, not of the letter, but of the spirit. Okay, so we're going to go into that part where it says, not of the letter, of the letter. Let me get a um, quick precept. This is Romans chapter 2, verse 25. It reads, for circumcision barely profited, it says, barely profited, if thou keepest the law. Okay. But if thou be a breaker of the law. Thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Okay. And that's basically going to man. If if you. It's, it's going to break it down. It's going to break it down. Um, verse 26. Therefore. If the uncircumcision. Keep the righteousness of the law. Shall not his uncircumcision. Be counted. For circumcision. It says, and shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfilled the law, judge thee who by the letter and circumcision does transgress the law. And it just tells you in verse 27 that the law is the letter. So just proving that in that Corinthians. But to go back and break down earlier what it read, I'm gonna get I'm gonna um read verse 28 real quick and then I'm gonna jump to another precept just to break down that circumcision and the uncircumcision deal. Verse 28, it reads, For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, so by the appearance, it says, Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart. In the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of the most high. So it's basically going to the fact, man, you got to be uh, um, an Israelite inwardly, spiritually, man. Like, uh, um, what um, basically how yeah, was going into, man, is not the outward appearance that um, needs to be clean. No, he basically was going to the, um, clean the glass. They clean the outside of the glass before they clean the inside. Take, basically going to the fact, man. You got to spiritually and mentally get right on the inside before you try to just go out there and, um, per se, just wear the garments or dress like Israel. Try to look like an Israelite, man. You got to actually be an Israelite, man. That's why I say it's not all Israels of Israel, man. Because not all all of the Israelites are really Israelites physically and carnally. But on a spiritual note, they're not being Israelites. They're not doing what's asked of thee, what's commanded of thee, according to the law, according to the letter. Um, Another quick precept. To break that that um uncircumcision and circumcision down real quick. I'm gonna get Ephesians chapter two. Here you go. This is Ephesians chapter two, verse eleven. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is made so like it, by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. But the reason uh, um, we was called Gentiles is because we was following after other idols, man. And that's what makes you uncircumcised, man. Because ultimately, 
you're not doing, you're not following the letter. Well, not not just the letter, but well, basically, yeah, the letter because the law going to the whole book. It's not just the first five books of the Bible, man. It's the whole book. Y'all wasn't being the Israelites spiritually, man. They was being carnal, just being niggas, really, man. They wasn't being Israelites. They was being niggas. But that's it on that. We're going to jump back into this 2 Corinthians. This 2 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 6 again. It says, Who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit, for the letter killeth. Okay? So now we're going to go into that real quick. Talking about the letter killeth. I got a couple of quick precepts. On that. This Romans chapter 7. Um, you can really start at verse 4 and read down to about 14, but I'm, I'm going to get straight to the point just to um, save time. Hold on one second. Perfect. All right. This Romans chapter 7, verse 7. It says, I mean, Salakia, verse 6. It says, but now we are delivered from the law that being dead wherein we were held that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin but by the law. For I had not known lust except the law had said thou shalt not covet. And that's the point. The law is not sin. But, the law teaches you right from wrong. It teaches you what's, what you're supposed to be doing and what you're not supposed to be doing. Therefore, if you transgress the law or do wrong by the law, that is a sin. And what's the penalty? Well, certain penalties for certain sins is death. But then, um, um, certain penalties, you had to pay stuff back. But still, sin is transgressing of the law. And that ultimately will get you put to death in the most high eyes because... If you break one law, you break them all. So therefore, no man can fully keep the law because you're gonna go off. Like um, I believe it's in um Galatians. It talks about no man, no man uh uh um. It said, but every man sin. Salakia. It says, but every man sin. So therefore, it, it's gonna be that you're going to sin, man. It's just going to happen, man. I mean, it's the way it's set up. A precept to back that up. This is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 55. It says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. And that's the point, man. Uh, the point is that by the law, you're going to learn what sin is, and you, just because no man can fully keep the law, you're going to sin. Simply, man. That's simply what it's talking about. So when it going to uh uh we not by the letter, but under the law. It's a lot. It say um not by the letter, but by the law. It's basically going to the fact that hey man. I mean I mean Salaki, what it say, um it say who has this back in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but by the, but of the Spirit. Because now, man, it, it, we, we got that grace period, and then we under the Spirit. We um got the Spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shem, man. So if that's the case, then it's really, um, it's really, like I said, that grace period, man. And um, I'm going to get into that, too. Um, let me read verse 57 back in this 1 Corinthians 15. It says, But thanks be to the Most High, which give us victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And that was the point. That's going to lead into that next topic of the Spirit, man. Because uh, um, when Yahweh Shai had to leave, man, he said, I'm going to send to you the, um, the the Holy Spirit, man. And he spent the, he sent us the Holy Spirit. And that's um, basically what we what we dealing with now, man. That's what's going to get us back in the good grace of the Most High, man. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai dying on that cross, and then raising on the third day, man, then sending down that Holy Spirit. So now we got the covering of the Most High, man.
of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. But um, jump back to the Second Corinthians. This Second Corinthians chapter three, verse six again, who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit, for the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. And we're gonna touch on that, and that's gonna be it. This is um John's, Saint John chapter six. Verse 63, it says, it is the spirit that quickeneth, okay? And when you go into that word quickeneth, man, it, it, it basically is to um to bring back to life, man, bring back alive. And how is that? Psalms 119, verse 9, man, by taking heed to the word and to the doctrine, man, to the laws of these of these commandments, man, and not just being a, um, a carnal nigga, but being spiritual, man, putting it in your inward parts and living it, man. It says... The flesh profited nothing. Okay? So now you got to be spiritual. That's the point. You got to be spiritual, man. It say, um, um, a carnal mind is enmity with the most high, man. It says, the words that I speak unto you, they are of spirit and they are life, man. So this word, these holy scriptures, man, this is how we're going to get that everlasting life, man. Next precept going to be in Romans 8. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 2. It says, For the law of the spirit of life and Hamashiach, Yahweh have made me free from the law of sin and death. And that's the point, man. When he gave us that spirit, man, he took us from under the law, man. The only law, but, but, and then we're going to get it too. Because we, he took us basically from, from under the law, man. He did. But ultimately, we still got to keep the laws. I'm gonna get that real quick. Matter of fact, we just gonna read it. We're gonna it is is further down. It says, For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, the most high sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteous of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are of the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So, so being carnally minded, man, being carnal in this thing, just, it, it's, it's not going to profit you nothing, man. Hey, you got to remember that 2 Corinthians 10 and 4, man. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual, man. Because why? It's a spiritual battle right now, man. Like the Lord said, I was sent for many fishes, then make them hunters, man. So right now, we're doing everything spiritual, man. It's not that time. Until the Lord put that spirit on, then it'll be that time, man. It says... Um, verse 8, so then they that are of, in the flesh cannot please the Most High. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so, be that the Spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Hamashiach, he is none of his. And if Hamashiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Yahweh Shai from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Hamashiach from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Simply, man. So it is basically going back to walking in the spirit. But um the precept I was referring to is um in the sixth chapter, Salaki. This is Romans chapter 6, verse 14. It says, For sin shall not have dominion o dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. And that's the point. We are not under the law technically, but we still, we under grace, man. But watch what it reads. Verse 15. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Why? Why not? Because um, Judges 5 and 11, man. We are rehearsing, rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Just to prove our faith, man. 
Like it speaks about James. Faith without works, man. Well, it's dead. So what? Like what? Well, like he said, man, you would know my faith by my works. Um, um, I got a, um two quick ones, two quick ones, and then I'm gonna close. This is Ephesians. Ephesians chapter two. Verse 5, it says, Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Hamashiach, by grace ye are saved. And that's the point, man. It's all by the grace, but then, uh, um, uh, um, just going back to the whole deal about us being dead in the sins, man. Us being dead in the sins, man, we needed something to bring us back to the Most High, man. Because if it was still under the law, we would never get back into good graces, man. We'll never get back in them good graces. Um, I got one more for you. Now, I'm going to get um two more, and then that's going to be it. This is Colossians chapter 2, verse 13. And you being dead in your sin and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him, having forgiven you of all trespasses, man. And when it's talking about that uncircumcision in your flesh, man, that's going back to us being niggas, man. Being Gentiles, man. Not following the law. Not 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 abiding in the truth, man. Not believing. Following after every false image, man. It says he quickened, brought us back to life together with him, having forgiven you of all trespasses, man. Like Psalm 32, man, starting at the top. It it basically going to the fact, man. Hey, it, it, the um um lock, yeah, I can't even um quote it. Just get it real quick, and then I'll close on that one. This Psalm chapter 32, verse 1, it says, Blessed is, is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom Yahweh imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile, man. So blessed is the man the Lord don't 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 um hold accountable for his sins, man. They got that spirit, man, that's actually dealing, man. And that's ultimately just going to be the elect, man. That's the only people that's going to get up out of that, man. The elect and um, the one-third, man. Hey, with that, I would like to give all praise, glory, honor, and respect going to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I'd like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel set up on the earth to teach today, and salutations to the Aki and Moran, the four corners of the globe, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. To you, brothers, I'd like to say Shalom.